Okay, so this is method seven, old rustic wood beams. And uh, this was a solution I came up with for a project. It was an old west saloon where they had a lot of beams that they wanted to integrate into the bar, but they were all built out of drywall and pine. And they wanted them to look like old reclaimed wood. So I came up with this finish as opposed to trying to actually do a distressed finish on real wood. This is very easy to put on anything. And like I said, we did it over drywall. Okay, so you can see I've got a lot of rustic texture and cracking and it just looks like an old beat to hell wood beam. And uh, just like I said, you can do this over anything. This is just cheap pine, and uh, we've created this kind of rustic wood beam look. Okay, so for this method, what I'm going to need is Full Effects Crackle Mate. I'm going to need Modern Masters Venetian Gym Plaster that I've had tinted at my local paint store to Benmore Color 2108-10. I'm going to have Proceed Full Body Glazing Medium. I'm going to have Faux Cream Color Black by Faux Effects and faux cream color dark brown by faux effects and I'm also going to have a water based crackle size. Okay so what I've got here is this mock-up beam that I built out of pine just a real cheap material you can do this over MDF drywall pretty much any surface something you want to make look like old rustic wood and uh, so far all I've done is base this out with a large chip brush and I'm using Modern Masters Venetian plaster and the color I have this mixed to is 2108-10 and all I'm going to do is dip my chip brush in there and just brush it in a linear fashion like wood would be you know it has a grain with a direction so you want to be sure you do that just vary the thickness this is just the base coat so the most important thing is you get 100 percent coverage and then we'll move on to trying to build up that kind of furred crack texture with the same material Fifth step on this beam, we've got it base coated, so now we're going to start the texture process and kind of give it that furred cracked look. And first thing I need to do is take some Faux Effects Old World water based size or any water based size, and uh, I'm just going to take a chip brush and get a little bit on here. And once again, this is a linear motion because we're kind of doing like a wood grain kind of thing. So randomly I'd say like 30% coverage because the next plaster we're going to put on is going to have a crackle additive in it. So that's just going to make a fracture bigger in some areas. Okay, so I got my size on. I've let it set up about 20 minutes. And uh, what I've got is my Modern Masters Venetian Plaster Mix that we use to base coat. And then I've got this product by Faux Effects called Crackle Made. Crackle Made is intended to add to paint or you can add it to plaster. And it causes the material to fracture. The more you add, the more it's going to fracture on its own. And then of course where I have this size, it's going to fracture even more. So let's go ahead and mix that up. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to do basically like two parts. Venetian to one part of this crackle made, okay? And normally a lot of times you're mixing plasters you're gonna drill them, but it's kind of cool. This stuff's kind of like a gel consistency, this crackle mate. And so if I just kind of randomly mix it with my hand, it makes this kind of really screwed up mixture that makes my uh, material go on even more inconsistently and random. So I'm just going to kind of stir this up with my hand and then we'll throw it on. Okay, so now when I put it on, once again, everything's linear. It's going like a wood grain, right? So, you know, I throw some material on my wider chip brush on one side, almost like a trowel. And I'm laying it really flat to the surface. And it's going to go on all kind of junky and gummy. And I just kind of lay it on and it's going to naturally kind of make this kind of furred, messed up, like reclaimed wood look. And then it's going to look even better when we come back tomorrow and it's fractured. So just kind of laying it down. Okay, for this one, depending on thickness, you're going to get about 
50 to 75 square feet a gallon. Okay, so my beam's set up, the plaster's cracked, obviously. I've got a lot of random texture going on now. So now I just need to kind of knock it down and I'll just use like a steel putty knife to get the big stuff off and then I'll use like a 220 grit sandpaper to just kind of sand it down so it's kind of smooth. And then we'll get on to staining it. Okay, now we're gonna get on a stain on this thing. And for that, I'm gonna use Golden Proceed Full Body Glazing Medium. I'm gonna use eight ounces of that. I'm gonna use eight teaspoons of dark brown aqua color and about mm, like four teaspoons of black aqua color. And I'm gonna mix that up and then we'll brush it on and get it stained. Okay, so what I'll do first is I'm just gonna start brushing on this stain mix we made, this glaze. And I'm really gonna have to Make sure that I get it in all these crevices. And I'll just go like one side of the beam at a time. I've got plenty of time. And you don't want any of that base Venetian plaster color showing through. You want to cover everything. Especially down in the cracks, because like the more glaze you get down in there, you more the more you're gonna like enhance them. Okay, now that I have full coverage, what I'm gonna do is just take a wad of shop towel and just in a linear fashion start dragging my glaze off. And it's gonna kind of enhance all this fracturing, kind of just make it look like an old reclaimed wooden beam that's got smoke damage and all sorts of good stuff. Okay, sometimes what I'll do is, uh, and you can do this whether your beam is still wet or when it's dry, is I'll go back with the same glaze and just kind of lay it in all those edges and lay it in the crevicing where the beam meets the wall, the ceiling, or each other in like an intersection. And I'll just kind of build up this dark color and then go in with my rag and kind of feather it out so it looks like kind of smoke damage and dirt is collected in the corners. Just gives it more character. Okay, so my glaze is dry and this is uh, kind of the rustic beam look I was going for. And um, if you use it in an environment like a commercial space or something like that, you just want to top coat it. Um, I usually do it with a Modern Masters dead flat varnish, but uh, you know, it just depends on what sheen you want. <laughs> 